Good day. So in this video, I'm going to go over the high level shopping cart questionnaire form and some important questions to ask before the start of a shopping cart development project. So let's get going. Uh, shipping configuration. I find that shipping can be can be pretty complicated. So as you the shipping carrier. Um, in some cases, they'll use two, but you know for for the most part, it, it's going to be one shipping carrier. Um, flat rate is, let's say you have a widget for $50, flat rate will be $10 for the, for the widget. Now live is where you hook up through a piece of software called the API, hook up to the United States Postal Service or UPS, and it calculates the shipping based on two set points. So other, you know, you would list out, describe the other. Um, any shipping discounts, these, these are important. You know, so if you buy more than five items, you have a, you know, you have a discount. And so if, if the answer to this is yes, you know, I would describe this in detail. Um, handling fees can be important. Uh, I was working on a shopping cart, uh, Shopify shopping cart a while back. And because of the combination of handling fees with zip code it what it wasn't caught in the beginning of the project and it made it real complicated um, the, the end customer really wasn't able to to fulfill their needs they it was a um, it was a dog treat that basically the the cart worked needed to work where there was a handling fee added if you were in a certain number of zip codes and really um, and this was per per Shopify, Chad and Shopify themselves really never found found um, a configuration that matched all three of his uh, moving parts. Okay, let's go go to checkout requirements. Uh, will there will will there be a requirement checkout through the shopping cart interface? This almost all of them are going to be yes. Um, you know, sometimes if it's I guess a third party. You know where it's, it's just added you know into the site through you know an iframe or whatever so let's go with uh, tax configuration what market would you be selling to um, tax considerations for this market uh, other special tax requirements so it's good to list these out um, you know and that's per the laws of uh, you know where you're you know the destination and a lot of times where the company is located um, product configuration. Um, this can be this can be comp complicated. So you, uh, starting off, you want to describe your products you sell, how many products, how many categories. Understand who will handle the data entry, um, whether it's the client. Uh, you know, if it's if I'm responsible or you know the agency's responsible. Describing the level of category level of categories so you know two or three levels of categories um, and the relationship between categories and products so in this case uh, in this case you'd want to list down the categories in any subcategories and just describe the the relationship that those categories and have have to the products when products have multiple categories um, can they be listed, you know, can they be listed into categories as well, subcategories? So, okay, uh, product variants. Does a product have variants of products, product options? Yes or no? Please describe in detail. This, this can be uh, pretty complicated. And what a product variant is, is we've all seen them. Uh, your make model is the car example. T-shirt sizes where you have, uh, you might have one product number or one SKU, but you might have variations of that product. So you have a happy face t-shirt and you have it in large, small, extra large, and then you have colors. Um, and based on that, are multiple images per product required? Yes, describe the image view. Um, Will there be any special requirements such as coupon or discount codes? Pretty self-explanatory. Um, 
Okay, so go, going on to uh, payment processing. What merchant account? So this could be Stripe, PayPal, uh, Authorize.net is probably one of the more, uh, more widely used. Is there any special payment special payment requirement? This one's kind of an open-ended question, but you know, just gather as much information as you can. You know, with the idea that uh, if this is a, a new shopping cart and the in client isn't aware, you know, they will need to to uh, get approved for most of them. You know, PayPal will be fairly easy, but you know, sometimes Authorize.net, not all. You know, not all these merchants are going to approve, you know, approve every client or, you know, every site. You know, some, you know, some, uh, you know, some business models do not fall, you know, within the, you know, within that uh, merchant accounts, uh, you know, sphere of what they do. Uh, is there a design already? If no, please see design questionnaire. Um, please describe mobile and smartphone requirements. Will client information be stored in the cart? Um, yes or no, please, uh, please describe fields in detail. And this is good to gather, um, just to understand what information the, you know, what information is going to be needed. So this is the basic, uh, I send this to my agency clients. Inevitably they end up forwarding it to their end clients, but it's really best to gather this information, being educated on what all these things mean. Um, Every time I've seen this one uh, filled out by the site owner, really it's, it ends up incomplete. So, hope that helps. Thanks.